So Luke, this is an interesting demo today, 17.4 pH, it's not the easiest of material, so just talk us through the process and some of the tools. Yeah, so we designed this part to really like showcase some of our new product innovation tooling. Um, it's not the easiest to machine material, so that's kind of why we picked it. Um, but yeah, we, so we utilize our high feed to start and then um, come over a face mill to finish. So we've got a nice finish on the top and then we're using our new TM to cotoidal mill the outside. Um, but what we're trying to showcase today is that we can use a 12 mil diameter tool at the 60 mil data. Um, so the cost savings there are, are pretty big. So we, the cost of the tool between 12 and 16 is quite big. And to be able to run the 12 at the 16 data, the cycle time saving is, is um, impressive. So that's kind of what we're trying to highlight to some of our potential customers. Yeah, and when we look at all, in fact, all of the tools, it's very, very soft cutting, very quiet. In fact, as good as the data is, we could have probably pushed it harder. Yeah, that's right. We, we could have pushed it a little bit harder, but we're trying to be as close to real life as possible. We want to be able to achieve a good tool life. We don't want to come here and just run the tool to death because it's kind of misleading to the customers. So we want to be as true to them as possible mm -hmm. um, but as, and showing what they're capable of. So if we start with the high feed, just talk us through that data. So the high feed, um, we're running at 160 uh, metres at about 0.08 per tooth. We adjusted it a little bit as we were running because it, it sounded like it wanted to go a little bit more, so we upped it about 50%. So I'll have to calculate it and what it was actually running at. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it sounded really nice and I think we could have probably pushed it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with that. And the second tool, Luke, the face mill, it's what I would call a traditional face mill, you know, very positive. Yeah, that's right. It was kind of a historical kind of style tool. And in this material, because it's so positive, we just can get a really good finish. Um, and that's kind of what we were trying to achieve here is we just want a nice finish so the part looks nice and in industry that's what you want you want a nice looking part so we could have come in and run it really fast but it's not what kind of what we were looking for so but in terms of the the the, the, um, the solid carbide they say you could hardly hear it cutting yeah it's very uh, soft cutting um, what we tend to do we have a seven percent ae and we find if with that we can push the food that feed a little bit more so it kind of gives us that kind of edge then. Yeah, and, and that's, we, we see that, we, we do see that from time to time. People talk about the AE, the step over 10, 12, maybe even, <coughs> excuse me, 15%. But sometimes the metal removal rate is greater, isn't it? If you just look, work on the feed and reduce the yeah, AE. Yeah, that's and right. all life. Yeah, so we would take all things to in, into account um, what, when the application is there. But with our findings, we're finding a 7% with the increased feed is working better for us and our tooling. So. And uh, the other thing we can't forget to mention is the drills. Again, very soft cutting, chips are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so it's our new product for us, our UD drill, it's an inox drill. Um, yeah, and we found in stainless seals up to HRSA materials, it's working really, really well. And um, yeah, I'm really repress impressed with the res results. And the data of that drill? That was running about 100 meters at about 0.1 per rev. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's motoring as well. So, in terms of all your tools, you, I, we seem to always cover your, the tools on the trickier materials. I know that's where you excel, but clearly you do tools for all materials. Yeah, so, for example, the, the, the TM that we highlighted here today, I've been running in EN8 in, in standard steels, and it's been performing really, really well. Um, so, yeah, we was uh, testing it at 12 and a half meters. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, impressive. And look, clearly when we're making CNC components, we, you know, 99% of the time we need to chamfer the part, don't we? Yeah, so we've just deburred the, the part, put a nice break edge, and then, as we know, nice repeatability coming off the machine the same every time. You don't have to do it offline, so I think deburring on the machine is, is the way to go. So Luke, we're here at CIS today. If I can ask you to conclude some of the highlight tools. Yeah, so I think um, the guys at CIS have been really good for us. They've help us get all the, the programming done um, yeah and the facility they've got is great it's like a, every engineer's dream I think to come here and be able to get on the machines um, but this is a kind of service that we use them for anyway but it's nice to have you guys in and come and see what we we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis um, so my highlights on this part would be the the high feed and the uh, the, the TM 
with uh, the 12 year TM, we're running at uh, 60 mil industry standard data. And I really do challenge anyone to, to give us a go and see what we're capable of.